training video for C Digital Menu. In this video, we're going to review how to set and adjust tax rates using the C Digital Menu Managed Site. If you already have tax rates set up for you through Clover, then you don't need to set anything up. During the installation process, C Digital Menu imports the tax rates that were already created from Clover. Now, tax rates are very simple to set when using Seed. We give you the ability to adjust tax rates and the name all from one screen. To set up your tax rates, you will need to log into the Seed Manage site through your laptop or your PC from the Clover dashboard. On the Clover dashboard, find the Seed app and click on it. Once you're in the Manage site, go ahead and click on the Settings button from your main menu bar located on the left. You'll notice a few options to choose from across the top of your page. Go ahead and click on Tax Rates. Now here you'll see the list of all your taxes imported from Clover. Now taxes are different in every state and not every restaurant wants to view their taxes the same. With C Digital Menu, you have the ability to apply a single tax or multiple taxes to an item. So the tax rate that we imported from Clover says Washington State Tax and it's set to 9.5%. Now let's pretend that this restaurant is in Colorado and we have three different taxes that are applied to beer served in a restaurant. The tax applied to the items are a 4% state tax, a 3% city tax, and a 2.5% beer tax. Now you have the ability to create a single tax called beer sales tax at 9.5%, combining all three taxes. Or you can create three separate taxes and add all three to your beer item. Now each tax rate will be shown on your restaurant end of day report, so it really depends on how you would like to view your taxes. So let's create some new tax rates. From the tax rate page in the settings, click the button called Plus New Tax Rate. Now go ahead and type in the name for your tax. For this, we'll do Colorado State Tax. And then go ahead and type in the rate. So we'll do four. And when you're finished, click Save. Now let's do our city tax at 3%. And let's do beer at 2.5%. Now let's apply our tax to our menu items. So to edit your menu item, click on the Menus button on the main menu bar on the left. Next we'll click on Master Item List. Now here's where you have all of your menu items. To find menu items, you can type the name of the item that you're looking for in the search box here. Or you can access all the items in a category by using the drop down box just below. So since we're going to apply this tax to our beers, let's go ahead and select our beer category from our drop down box. Now once you get to your items, go ahead and click on the edit button for the item you want to change. Under the general tab, you'll find your tax rates right in the upper middle part of the page. Each tax rate is listed and has an on and off switch. Go ahead and click the switch to turn the tax rate on. You'll see the switch move to the right and it changes colors to signify that it's on. So let's go ahead and let's do our beer tax, city tax, and our state tax. Once you're finished, hit save. Now, on the C Digital Menu app, you'll have an end of day report. These taxes will be applied to the server employee day report, and then the restaurant end of day report. Here you can see the list of all your tax rates and the values associated with each. If you have any further questions or need some additional help, please don't hesitate to email us at support at seeddigitalmenu.com or give us a call at 425-296-7409 and one of our dedicated seed specialists will be more than happy to help you. Thanks again for using Seed.